Hello friends, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed a video, um, but this is kind of like a spur of the moment. I'm doing a project and as you can probably see from my background, I'm in a different location. Uh, me and my husband actually bought a house uh, about a month and a half ago. So I think that kind of started me wanting to come back to YouTube a little bit was buying the house and having so many like projects to get into. So I'm doing a little project today and it'll probably be a multi-day project but it made me want to pick up the camera and like film it for you guys and you know come back to making like long form content on YouTube. So I'm excited to be back and I hope you guys enjoy like this video too and you know watching me start all of my projects for our new house um it is like a new construction and i think that i want to do like a home like tour it's not like a massive house or anything but just to show you guys around and like maybe talk through some of the like creative ideas that i have for everything too um but to keep it short um and save that for another video i'm going to be working on our ikea dressers in our bedroom today so i've been seeing on pinterest like a lot of the faux wood like painting technique and i really wanted to give that a try because in our bedroom as you guys will see it's just the walls are white and I plan on keeping them white, but just doing a few more things. Again, you'll see in like another video. But um, I do want to add like a wooden element to the bedroom um, without buying all new furniture. Because I do like our IKEA dressers. They're the Hemness. And they're really nice and they're still in good condition. So I'm hoping that this will work and just give me that like wood look, like element that I want in our bedroom. So I am going to show you the products that I'm going to be using for this. Um, but the first thing I got was this Ben uh, primer. So what makes this one uh, different is that it's a shellac base. So based on my research for like redoing and painting the IKEA furniture, um, it's because it is like slick that doesn't have a lot of like uh, texture to it. Actually, no texture at all. So the key was to definitely use a shellac primer like this one because it's going to make your paint actually adhere to the furniture as opposed to just going in with paint uh, with a texture that the it already is it's not gonna stick to it and then I did get so after the primer you're gonna go in with a paint and what I chose was this Valspar um, it's like middle of the road it's the Valspar signature so I got it in the color soft pelican which is like it's kind of like a neutral taupey gray color so I thought in terms of like ashy like wood color which is what I'm kind of going for um I thought this would be nice because it's not too warm and I think it'll serve as a good base for um my furniture and then the last piece that actually makes it look like wood is this chalky finish um antiquing wax so this um, and all of this came from Lowe's but this is supposed to give it that wood grain look so a couple of tips that I saw in my research was that you do want brush strokes when you're putting your base layer of paint on there you actually do want some of the brush strokes to show up because that's going to kind of serve as the wood grain and then when you put the antiquing wax over top of it it's going to settle into those grooves and actually create like a wood grain look um, based on what I saw, um, I watched a few videos and was on Pinterest and like read through the blogs of some people. Um, it seems like it works like fairly easily. You just kind of have to do like a light coat if you just want like a soft like wood look, uh, which is kind of what I'm going for, like a beachy kind of coastal uh, weathered wood look. And if you want it to be more like rustic, you just would go in with like more coats of the wax. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the current state of the dresser. So obviously this was in our apartment, so you guys are familiar with this one. Um, but again, it's kind of been a while. So um, it's again just Ikea Hemness in white. So it's in the, not the wood uh, grain white, but just like the smooth... I don't know what the material is, but it's a smooth uh, white. So I'm going to take the knobs off of the dresser and then we're going to apply the shellac and it looks like it'll dry in about 20 minutes and then I can paint over it. So that's good. I don't have to wait too long after I shellac it to start painting.
Okay guys, so I've got my dresser all primed. So it's got the shellac primer on there and I can definitely tell that it does have that like more matte and like it's going to adhere, like the paint was going to it. sorry. <laughs> the paint is going to adhere to the piece of furniture now that that um, primer is on. But I am realizing that I am going to have to take the knobs off um, and just uh, put them back on later. I really didn't want to do that because um, they are kind of hard to get off but it's fine because I realize I'm not going to be able to get the wood grain right if I have to go like around them. It's not going to be like a seamless like wood grain like it normally would if it was actual wood. So I'm going to have to take those off um, but I think that I'm going to stop here tonight um, just with the primer and then tomorrow once I have better light and during the daylight I'll go ahead and get a coat of paint on there and I should be able to finish it tomorrow. Um, once the paint dries I can go over uh, with the wax. So I will I chose so it is soft pelican by Valspar and I tried to get like a nice like neutral colored kind of like taupe um, because that is what the uh, blog post I read on Pinterest had so I tried to match it up the best that I could so let's give this a go So what we have done at this point is I've got two coats of paint on the dresser So I'm going to show you what that looks like and this color is actually really pretty um, I think it's going to serve as a really good base for that wax because it's like a really good neutral undertone So let me show you guys what that looks like Okay, so here we have the dresser. So this is that soft pelican paint color. So I think this is going to give us like that sandy wood tone, which is really what I'm going for. So let's go ahead and get the wax applied.
completed the wax stage and I really think it looks like wood. I think it looks so pretty. I've already put a few knobs on there, but I'm gonna put the rest of the knobs on. up applying the wax as you guys just saw and I had a few like points that I wanted to make of things that I've learned kind of along the way in the process of my application so first thing that I noticed when I was applying the wax to the top of the dresser is you definitely want to work in larger areas which to me it just didn't make a lot of sense it felt more natural to work in small areas but the wax dries down really quickly actually so you don't have a lot of time to kind of like work with it so I found that if you work in a larger area and kind of use like more wax than you think you need I'm um, gonna just kind of spread it everywhere and then go in with your rag and kind of like use those long continuous uh, strokes to make it look like wood green that is what's gonna work the best because you know, on the top of my dresser there's two areas that ended up being kind of patchy from where I did the center which looks really good and then I did kind of the outside edges and where it meets it just it, it's not even it's an uneven application there so that is my first takeaway is to try and work in those larger areas just to get the product everywhere and then go in and kind of smooth everything out um, and get those wood grain like lines definitely using the dry part of the rag is really key to kind of getting that like muted wood look so I didn't really want a very grainy look so I used my dry part of my rag after I had finished everything um, and gotten the product all over my area is just smooth it out and, and kind of use it as like a blender um, to kind of just make everything more seamless and like flow better together and just make sure there's no patchiness or anything like that and then also to make sure you get the right look is just to make sure your grain is all going in the same like natural direction so for the drawers and the top everything is horizontal and then on the sides where I have those like vertical uh, pieces of board I went vertical for those because that's what would make the most sense so just thinking about which way wood would naturally the grain would naturally go just make sure you're following that and keep it consistent it's gonna give it the most like natural look another tip is to make Make sure you're starting with the wax like in the center so for example if you have like a drawer I like to start in the center and kind of work my way out so that way the wax doesn't collect on the edges especially if you're working on something that might have more like lips or like it goes you know meets like at a corner um, just so the wax doesn't collect in the corner unless that's like a more rustic look you're going for or if you are trying to make something look like antique and old that would be how you'd want to do it but for my instance where I'm trying to make it look like wood I don't want it to collect and look uneven or more saturated in one particular area so to keep it even you start in the center and then just work your way out those were the tips that I just wanted to share with you if you are trying this project yourself I thought it would be easier just to talk through like the things I've learned after I've done the project so now I'm going to just show you guys the full reveal watching and let me know if this is a project that you are going to try at home. I would love to see if you try to recreate this or do this on another piece of your furniture and um, you can tag me on my Instagram and I would love to see it. So my Instagram name is at Jordan Yates home. I'll leave it in the description box below but follow me over there if you want more like home inspiration. I'm sharing all kinds of home decorating stuff over there too. But again, thank you so much for watching my debut back to YouTube and I hope to see you again soon.